you know, she could make a segue. Segways are cool. Right? Um, maybe not. Uh, we need to fix up a chair for this lady. But Victor Neff is like, I'm not building that myself. Yeah, look. I don't need to build it myself. I'm too capable for that. You know, poor, poor person. Okay, let's see what's over here. Is that lady on the lake? I, I need to, like, do some ma magic. You know? But, I, I'm not sure what I can do. That's magical. You know? There is this, this place. Let's put an egg at the hole. I don't want to put an egg in the hole. Well, Mr. Neff, why? Why don't you want to put an egg in the hole? It'll feed some sort of snake, I'm sure. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, I don't really want to go that way. Well, is there anything that way I, I can do right now? I don't think there is. Hmm. I mean, we could just get a very long branch and just let, let's let, let's try that. Let's try and get a long like use these boards uh, and make just um, a path to walk across to the other side of uh, Mr. Willard's stream or to the start of Mr. Willard's stream. I watch it just be like, oh, I, these boards are too short. No, I mean, they're obviously going to be too short. But you never know. Use boards with the passage. I'd rather hold on to them. Okay, fine. I mean, that that were that were pretty stupid of me to um to really uh, consider anything like that. I I I forgot the gap was actually that wide that was that's a lot wider than I remembered uh is there anything this way I mean there are berries we could pick more berries I don't need to pick anymore I've already caught the pixie yeah but you let it go and um and what if we want to talk and tickle a pixie again you know they really like being tickled uh, okay, so, what do we have to do right now? We have to prove that we're magical in some regard. Uh, maybe if I talk to, um, Velma, over in her dad's hut, maybe we'll, um, figure st stuff out, you know. Um, hello Selma. How's he doing? He's stable, but he lost a lot of blood during the night. He'll live, but I'm glad I got here when I did. From what I hear, I've got you to thank for that. Think nothing of it. If you should ever come by again, you will find yourself a most welcome guest in our home. We don't have riches, but we make up for it in charm and good looks. Selma here is the jewel of the family. Between you and me, I'll have you know she's not yet spoken for. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Grandpa! You can't blame me for trying. I'm afraid I'm spoken for. See what I mean, Selma? If you wait too long, the good ones get snatched. Speaking of which, I should probably get going. You do that, son. Well, I guess I guess that's just a dead end then. Uh, maybe if I could talk to Selma one more time. Hey, Selma. So, 
Did you find the Wiccan? I did. Uh, she doesn't want to teach me until I show her some magical predisposition. Oh, you don't know magic? No. Do you? Of course. I know healing magic. Can you teach me that then? That's not how it works, I'm afraid. Magical predisposition is something you're born with. Perhaps you know the magic, but you're just not aware of it yet. Have you ever made strange things happen with your mind? No. Perhaps you didn't even notice. A tiny display is often the first sign. So I have to use my mind to do things. So basically, I gotta manifest something. Great. Um, I, master Manifesta. I will, um, I don't know, make it rain. Yeah, that could be a thing. I don't even know what manifestors do. Which is, they're just like very wholesome, you know, they're just like, oh yeah, everything's bright and shiny and rainbows and unicorns. Because I say it is that way, and I believe it with all my heart, so therefore, everything is sunshine and rainbows. Everywhere. There's even unicorns. Because I believe it. Sorry for anyone that's, that's a manifest right there. Um, I, I, I'm nothing against you. Honest, I, I just, you know, it's a weird concept to me. I've not looked into it, so I guess I'm just, um, I'm just a, a, a noob, you know. I um, one of the the, the uh, uninitiated, I guess you could say. What should I do? God damn it! I'm just rambling right now. Okay, I need to figure out how to magic things. Okay, and use the power of my mind. Uh, I'm gonna use my mind power to make the squirrel give me his front door. Okay, are you ready for this? Oh, are you hurt? Uh, you mean the bandage? It's nothing to worry about. That's good to hear. For a moment there, I thought the thief had struck again. I mean, I've had this bandage on for seven, like, decades, my guy. What the heck are you on about? You've seen me with this bandage on for, like, I don't know, several runs, no? You're just not up, so I guess you're reminiscing on your kneecaps way more often. Um, I have to go. There's nothing here. You know where to find me if you need me. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Like, I want to put these with this, but Mr. Neff is like, nah, I don't want to do that. That'll be... Maybe if I just give them to this, um person without legs she'll be like oh ho, ho, thank you I can now occupy my time with building a wheelchair for myself you know she she is literally just sat there doing not so much so maybe maybe it will help there you go lady do you want some buds god damn it have you considered crafting some kind of cat so you can drag yourself along the ground Frankly, yes. But I don't see any cap components lying around, do you? How about this? That's not half bad. I could build a base out at ease. If you can find four wheels, I'd be much obliged. I'll see what I can do. Uh, I have two wheel handles. What about these? Those look pretty sturdy. 
If you can find two more wheels, I'd be much obliged. I'll see what I can do. So I need two more wheels. She she doesn't go for the two wheeled wheelchair. She goes all out for the four wheel wheelchairs. Wait, no wheelchairs are have four wheels. They just have two small ones at the front and a big one at the back, right? Or something like that. They are on four wheels, though. I guess it's a lot harder to balance on two wheels. But, you know, she could make a Segway. Segways are cool. Right? Um, maybe not. Uh, let us continue to search for wheel parts, then. Uh, there is a water wheel here, but I don't think that will help at all um hmm so i've got a fork twig on a string still i'm not sure what that could be useful for maybe maybe i'll just talk to the mob you know get them up to date be like hey film is here any news have you found any leads um i want to report my findings what have you found? Um, I think the thief is hiding beyond the Great Wall. That's a useless lead. There's no way we're going close to that thing. No way. Fair. Um, well, I've got to go. Stay out of trouble, son. Hmm. Okay. So. Let us check out this way there might be something i missed in the weird circle area you know oh like see a, a lid that just did i manifest it it's a lid for the barrel but it just might make a decent wheel for a wagon as well i am going to steal the lid i hope they won't mind if i borrow it yeah, they won't mind. It's an open barrel, you know. What are they going to do? Get rainwater? I don't think it's rained here in ages. Right? I think I re remember them saying that it's not rained in ages. Right, now, the last wheel is with the squirrel's door. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't know how we're, we're supposed to get that, though. You know, I just gotta, you know, use my mind powers and um, materialize it out of nothing. Uh, maybe if I use the lid with the door, I'll need four wheels for the wagon. If I swap these, I'll still be one wheel short. Good point. Squirrel, can I please have the door? I need the door. Can I use the fork twig with the door? I can just lift the door off its hinges, but I need to give the squirrel something to help him defend his acorns. Oh my- Oh, the whistle! I can give him the whistle! Hey, can I trade you this uh, warning whistle for your door? You can call the mob if someone tries to steal your treasure. It's only temporary, of course. Oh, well, I guess that's a fair trade. At least my treasure won't be completely defenseless anymore. Great. Here you go. Thanks. Da -na -na -na. If I just unhinge it carefully. Da -na -na -na. We did it. Let's look in the hole. There's a small hole at the base of the trunk. It seemed to continue below the ground. I'm too big to fit through. Oh, I reckon, I reckon when we go to Mr. Willard's stream and there's a shrink, the shrink ray, we'll be going in that hole. I'm not done with you yet, squirrel. Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to fix up this person's wheelchair. I'll give her the parts so she can fix her own wheelchair. Because apparently Mr. Neff is incapable of doing that himself. You know, he's just lazy. He's a lazy man. What about this? Dad, look, 
<clears throat> that looks pretty good. If you can find another wheel, I'll be much obliged. Um, I'll see what I can do. Here we go, final wheel. What about this? That's not half bad. I can make my cat now. Finally, I'll be able to get out of here. Please accept this boy as a token of my gratitude. You're welcome. Thank you for helping me with this cart. It'll get me back to my patrol at least. Speaking of which, they must be worried sick about me. I should probably get back ASAP. Um, yeah, you should. See you around. Da -na -na -na. So, now we've got a ball. Uh, I guess we'll use the ball with the fart twig and, um... I, I have no idea what I'm going to be shooting with it. Like... I mean, maybe the, the lily pads that are distant? Maybe? I really don't think so, though. But I'm gonna try. Just, just to see. Can I do it? Uh, shooting it won't accomplish much. I can't reach it. Okay. Okay, my guy. Um, I'm not going to talk to the strange girl. She doesn't seem to, to... To be of much use to me right now. But I think I'm going to leave it here for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm really enjoying playing it. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching and um, hopefully I'll see you next time. Goodbye.